Hello, my name is Mike Devich. I'm an Automation Engineer at Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories and I'll be presenting an overview of the QuickSet Device Manager. When you first start QuickSet, you'll be presented with this initial screen that we see here. To bring up the Device Manager, we'll go ahead and we click on the Device Manager icon. And this will bring up our login screen. Now, by default, there is a username of admin and no password associated with it. Prior to this, I went ahead and I created my username and a password with this. You can also associate users with LDAP accounts on your system as well. So I'll go ahead and enter in my password. Once the device manager starts up, you'll see that there are four sections to the device manager. The top left is your connection explorer. Then you have your template manager in the lower left. The bottom right, you have your diagnostic window. And the top right, you have your workspace. In the connection explorer, you have two main nodes. You have a folder node and you have a device node. The folder nodes provide a logical way to organize your devices by location or by purpose. For example, you have engineering access or in this case our event collection. The device nodes will give you a link to device configurations within the device manager. This is where you configure your passwords, communication parameters, documentation, and settings. Your template palette contains a list of all the pre-configured templates for SEL devices that are supported by QuickSet. It is also a convenient repository for user-defined templates. Your diagnostic window is made up of two sections, an output and a status window. The output window is used to determine the state of the present communications. The status window gives you a view of the communications and if any events have occurred. This gives you an ability to then troubleshoot any communication problems that may have occurred. The workspace gives you information about your device, password generation, and settings. The node type will determine the options available for that device. By double-clicking a device in the Connection Explorer, you open the corresponding tab in the workspace window. On this tab, you see we have our device type of a 311C. You can change your device name to anything that makes sense for you or your company. Also notice that we have our password section at the bottom of the screen. After you've changed the passwords in your devices, this is the section where you would change to match your device. So when communicating with that device, QuickSet could automatically log in. Now we move to the connection tab. On this tab is where you establish the necessary communication parameters to gain access to the device. In this case, we have a serial connection and we're using communications port number three. And we go down to our custom attributes tab and this is where you can put information that is relevant to you, the date that it's been in service, um, and you can create your own as well. And these will be saved in the database along with the other information. On our documents tab, this is where we contain any information that, again, that's relevant to you. A one-line diagram like we have here. On the settings tab, we have any of the settings for the device. In this case, I have settings of associated with this device as our as left settings. But you can also create new settings, open existing ones, import settings that people have sent to you, or export these settings so that you may save them to some type of other repository or send them to other customers. And then we have our team tab. On this tab, we have where we establish our communication channels and any of the jobs to be executed. A job is a collection of tasks that are repetitive in nature that team will then run on the device and collect any information, for example, event collection. That was an overview of the device manager found within QuickSet. Thank you for watching.